Jay. It's just over a year since the last policy conference decided to overwhelmingly oppose TTIP. And you did that for a whole number of reasons. You did it because you recognised that TTIP was a threat to public services, was a threat to consumer protection, it was a threat to workers' rights. You did it because you recognised that it was underpinned by a legal system that was biased in favour of big business and allowed them to sue elected governments and to overturn the decisions of those elected governments. And there are some who will say, ah, but that was TTIP, what we're talking about here is CETA, and CETA is somehow different. Well, not for nothing is CETA known as TTIP's little brother, because it has the worst characteristics of TTIP. It does involve a court system that might be a different forum in terms of its structure than what was proposed in TTIP, but a court system nonetheless that is closed to ordinary people, to trade unions, to anybody but the big corporations which dominate world trade and they can go to that court system to undermine democracy by overturning government decisions. Yes, it has an appendix, but that, and that appendix supposedly uh, is there to try to protect public services. But as the mover has said, it is trumped, and maybe that's a good analogy, because there are some people who are very much in favour of these kind of trade deals. It is trumped by the text of CETA itself, which works on the so-called negative list system, which means that unless something is specifically exempt, then it is covered. And the UK public services, including the NHS, are not exempt. There's an old adage, if it looks like a duck and it sounds like a duck, the chances are it's a duck. <laughs> so CETA... CETA is very much TTIP in terms of the principles behind it. And that's why, on the eve of the vote in the European Parliament, 13 general secretaries of trade unions wrote to Labour members of that Parliament asking them to oppose CETA. Well, the Scottish Labour MEPs, unfortunately, voted for CETA. And this motion says we should be disappointed in that. I have to say, we should be bloody livid about that, yeah. because they should be listening. They should be listening to the views of this party, and they should be listening to the views of the trade union movement. I'll finish on this chair, and it's, it's, it's similar to the vein in which we finished the last debate. You have a simple choice to make on this. You're either on the side of corporations and those who see CETA and TTIP as a blueprint for international trade post-Brexit, or you're on the side of the trade union movement and the hundreds of thousands of people who've been opposing CETA and TTIP across Europe. You made the correct choice the last time, but MEPs have made the wrong choice. You should tell them that you demand that they and our MPs oppose CETA, oppose TTIP and support this motion. Thank you.